What is up guys? Today I'm filming a feminine hygiene tip video. I've never done one of these before, but I've always wanted to do one, but I just kept forgetting to do it. Can we say my intros? Okay. For, if you're new, please subscribe. We're trying to get to 4K. Also check out my Instagrams. Follow them. They're always linked down below. Like my pictures, all that good stuff. I've been trying to post more on there. I'm really bad at posting on social media, especially on Instagram. But lately, for the past few days, I've been posting a lot more now. I'm trying here. I'm trying. So, turn your post notifications. And also, I'm going to be doing a girl talk video. So, make sure you comment questions either on my Instagram DMs or on the community post that I posted last night. Or under the comments. I do not mind. I want it to be decently long. So, and enjoyable. But... Yeah, so I'm gonna get into it. I have some notes on my phone and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. First tip I have is um, never use anything scented down there, downstairs. The reason for that being is because it will irritate it and I mean it's very self-explanatory but still a lot of people don't know about this. People still buy scented products for their vagina because my mom taught me at a really 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 young age about penises and vaginas. Um, yeah. It's just not good and it throws off your pH balance and it doesn't make your vagina smell any better. It makes it smell worse. So. Vaginas aren't supposed to smell like flowers or apricots or peaches or um, anything really. It's not supposed to any smell like really much. Sometimes it might have a little odor, but if it's like really, 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 really bad odor, then there's probably most likely like an infection or you might need to go to the doctor. It's always good to use something unscented. Oh. Videos of what I use down there, even on my period, I've even talked about it because I'm very open about that stuff. But I use unscented soaps down there on the outside only, not on the inside. The inside is the cleaning, it's a self-cleaning organ, but the outside still needs to be clean regardless. Next thing is to let it breathe, okay? was cotton underwear or going commando. Literally, um, I used to do this like probably last year or so or the year before but I used to always go to bed without any underwear just to give myself some time to breathe down there because I'm always wearing underwear and honestly underwear is kind of uncomfortable anyways I never really was a fan of it but um sometimes I'm always even like the thing is I'm always wearing shorts so it's kind of like easy to like look inside if I'm moving in different positions so that's why I kind of stopped doing that because I sit kind of awkwardly like I sit like a frog sometimes so like it'd be very obvious it's better to just let it air out wear cotton underwear all the time because it's breathable and uh, if you wear something that's not um, breathable you're gonna have a smell so yeah the next thing is douching avoid douching I don't know who douches to this day there's so many videos of like um, people talking about douching but and they say how it's like great for you but it's really not I've never douched in my life because I didn't see the point of it and I just find it kind of weird it's kind of like an enema but for your vagina douching is like way worse because you're shooting water up there and it also like if you get it from the store they always have weird additives to it that doesn't really need to be in there you know it's not just water is what I realized so um, it also like ends up interfering with your pH balance and it doesn't like help it at all it just makes it worse it's very sensitive people don't realize that but it's really sensitive and you can't just be using whatever down there because um, it's sensitive and it's really easy to just you know one bad thing it'll smell you know so you have to be really on it with your hygiene is wearing avoid wearing tight clothing okay so um this is very self-explanatory I don't really think I need to explain that I don't think anyone really knows about this because I don't think I've ever really heard anyone really talk about this other than my mom you're sexually active but um 
it is recommended not to shave your pubic hair especially when you're sexually active because um, your pubic hair is kind of like a barrier and it protects you from infections from like sexually transmitted infections and stuff you get it from skin to skin contact so having a bush is good but so many people don't like it i've been shaving mine for like since high school i think since sophomore year of high school or junior year it's been a really long time it feels like i really haven't been out of high school that long it's only been two years but it feels like it's been like a decade but um i've been doing it for that long and because i have an ocd thing about hair it's it's pretty obvious because i don't like the feeling of hair really anywhere on my body except for my arms like these are very thin so i don't really have to worry about it and also like it doesn't like when i rub it against my hands rub against my arms i don't really feel the hair i mostly feel my skin and you can't even tell that i really have hair because most of my hairs on my arm are like blonde so i think i've already explained this but i already said this but i wrote it in here i said to wash the outside of the vagina i already said that don't need to explain that the thing i want to mention is that let's talk about thongs for a minute okay let me show you mine i haven't worn this in um a couple of months i kind of forget that i have this i only wear this when i really want to like if i'm really in the mood and it's probably really weird to show this but i've shown myself in it in a picture so i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys seen it already so anyways um everyone kind of knows what it looks like but you know the way it looks it probably looks like it would be very breathable and i guess you could say it is a little bit but it's not made out of cotton i don't think i don't think it's made out of cotton so like if you wear thongs a lot um it's not recommended to do that either okay let me just explain to you why i don't know where i learned this from but since you're wearing it pretty much all day if you're wet like that or even just a few hours um you're gonna be moving around a lot okay so your butt bacteria will end up going inside of your vagina and those two do not mesh especially when it comes to wiping so it will cause like a very minor infection and it will cause you to smell so it's not recommended to wear it a lot even when i was wearing it i wouldn't wear it a lot because of that reason so i wanted to make this video because i feel like talking about these things are very taboo and i don't think people like talking about this to be honest because people get really uncomfortable talking about vaginas and penises and i'm not really like like that type i've always been open to learn about new things so it's never really weird to me especially having a open-minded mother that taught me a lot of things throughout the years about stuff like bodies it never really bothered me so i always learned about this stuff i didn't have to look it up online i could just use my mom as google and be like what does this mean what is that i heard kids saying this word what does this mean you know so it was like it was interesting so also i do want to mention that um it's not recommend i keep saying it's not recommended because it's true but it's not recommended to use towel like paper towels a lot either because it's not soft and it's it's like very rough so it's always good to use like moist towelettes because it has moisture and it doesn't dry out your vagina so and make it like uncomfortable because sometimes you know i've used a lot of crappy toilet paper in my life well a few brands have been crappy that i've used and there would be like residue and then i would have to go in with like a, to a towel like a what is this wipes flushable wipes to wipe that out because it would be in there and it would be really uncomfortable because like you could feel it and it's just i don't like that feeling so you know it's annoying but i hope that this helps it also drink water eat clean so you don't smell down there but um because that also plays effect on it i mean if you guys want another video like this in the future i would love to do that make sure you do everything that i mentioned in the beginning of this video and 
Um, if you have any video requests, comment them down below. I really enjoyed filming this video. I thought I was going to be like really awkward about it because, you know, um, some people don't like talking about these topics, but it's always good to talk about these things. I'm going to go now. Like this video, comment, follow me on my Instagrams. I'm always posting on Kimana Sawyer's because I'm on there the most. So, yeah, follow me on there and I'll see you in my next video.